Well, baseball fans, the Fall Classic is all set. And this is going to be a doozy. The Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. And the LCSs, they both went seven. And um, the American League, well, it happened to Houston again. They lost another seven-game series in which the home team didn't win any games. And, um, of course, Houston had the advantage. This happened to them in the 2019 World Series when they lost to Washington. And there it is again. They just can't seem to win at home. Now, to be honest, when Houston won that game five, I thought it was over the Rangers because Rangers kind of had a good chance to take game five, and that didn't happen. So, yeah, so the so um, they they just lost, they lost those two home games they needed to win, and that's it. The Rangers are in. Their, their third pennant in franchise history, their first since 2011, and they'll face the Diamondbacks, who, whew, what a run. What a Cinderella run. You know, Cinderella's been popping her head up lately in, 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 in sports. Because first off, famously, you have the Florida Panthers, okay? Uh, the Panthers, if the, remember, the year before, they won the President's Trophy. All that got them was a second-round exit. A big second round exit. Of course, last year, they finished 30 points worse than they did the year before. Worst team in the playoffs. And they fall three games to one behind the Bruins team, who won 65 games, set the record for wins and points. Somehow, they managed to come back from that and win. Then they beat down the, the Maple Leafs. And they sweep Carolina make, to go to reach the, to reach the cup final in this crazy fashion. Okay, now, this, now in hockey, that happens. I've seen it happen a lot. You know, the Ducks in 03, uh, the Oilers in 06, the Canadians uh, 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 two years ago. I've seen this happen quite a bit. And um, part of, of, course, of course, the NBA, the Miami Heat, they had to play the play-in. They actually lost the seven-seed game, had to play for the eight-seed, won that game. And then they beat out Giannis and the Bucks, and run with it all the way to the NBA Finals. And now we're seated here in baseball. Now remember again, and I have to say this again, the Diamondbacks were not supposed to be in the postseason. Everybody had them low in the National League West, let alone the entire National League. They were supposed to be, they and the Rockies were supposed to be holding up the California franchises at the division. The Dodgers, the Giants, the Padres. I think the Dodgers were supposed to win that division. And the Padres were supposed to be right behind them. And the Giants were supposed to have some sort of... Uh, I don't know what was supposed to happen with the Giants, but they were supposed to finish ahead of... Um, they were supposed to finish ahead of Arizona. And, of course, the Do the Dodgers and the, and, the, and the Padres are supposed to be the class of the National League West, like they supposedly have been for the last, I think, what, three years now? And other teams, was, other teams in the National League were supposed to kind of really go far. But certain teams fell off. And the Diamondbacks capitalized. They ended up with the sixth seed, which is exactly where was where the Phillies were last year. And they run with it. They swept that wild card series against Milwaukee. And then they um, they they uh, swept the Dodgers of all teams. They swept the Dodgers, who have been heavy National League favorites for the last like seven years now. And then they win. They beat the defending pennant winners, and the same team that did this, the same team that did this last year, the Phillies. And again, the Phillies had two chances to clinch the pennant at home, didn't do it. Those bats finally ran out of gas. Those bats that were hot from like September on, they just finally ran out of gas. So as a result, we have an all wild card World Series again. It's the first one of. It's the first one since. Um, I think it's the first one since 2014. Cardinals, not Cardinals. Um, um, Giants and Royals. And the Giants were a fifth seed. Because this was during when, this was during that period when two wild cards made it and they played that one game. The Giants were actually number five and they beat the number four uh, Pirates. So five seed won that World Series. So we have another, so the sixth seed has another shot to win the World Series because, of course, Philly was a 16th in the National League and they made it. I wonder if that's going to be a tradition now. But anyway, 
So Arizona just took the ball, ran with it, and the team that wasn't even supposed to be in the postseason, wasn't even supposed to have like a winning record, is four wins away from their second championship in franchise history. That's 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 amazing. And the um it's gonna be an, it's gonna be an amazing World Series. I'm gonna be pretty much happy for whoever wins it. And uh but my prediction I'm gonna just say it tech Rangers in seven. This I I can't see this thing going less than the max here. This is going to be a long series. At least I hope it is. I want a long World Series. I want this to go seven games with a couple games going to extras. So I want Game 7 to go to extras. Just like 2016 did. <laughs> game 7 needs to go like 10, 11 innings. I want I want this to be a good, grueling series. Now, thankfully, we've been, we've been getting long series. Because I think... Uh, the last World Series to end in a sweep was 2012. So it's been 11 years since we've seen a sweep in the World Series. I don't want sweeps in the final round. Sweeps in the final round are anti climactic unless there's some drama in at least one or two of them. Even five games, that's kind of anti climactic. Though the cup fight, this last year's cup final was kind of dramatic, even though that went five. But, um,. Yeah, I want a long World Series. I want this to go seven, and I want some extra innings. So far, no, I think no postseason game yet. No postseason game this season has gotten extras so far. And remember, this is the this is this is a longer postseason now. The, the wild card is longer, so you got what? It's two out of three, then three out of five, and then four out of seven the rest of the way. That's that's more that's more postseason games, but none of reached extra innings yet. I want extra innings in the World Series. That needs to happen. We actually got that last year. I think game one went to extras. But um, yeah. So I am. I always do love the World Series. The World Series is it's amazing because of course, um, it was um, it was kind of. I, I I will say this: interleague all season has kind of made part of the World Series kind of a little bit less special because we get Italy play every 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 um all season now because because you know once upon a time that whatever wasn't here we played. And um uh, and even when it started it was minimal. It'll only be like a few weeks out of the season. It's uh but now it's now it's all year. But even so, the World Series is amazing. I do love the fall classic and I'm very excited for this. I um it's the last, I think what makes the World Series special is it's the last championship of the calendar year. Because if you go chronologically, if you go, chron- if you go chronologically regarding the four main leagues, you have the, the Super Bowl first in February. Then you have uh, the Cup, the Stanley Cup NBA Finals that same month in in, in, um, in June. And I think and one could be awarded before the other, but that depends. But, um, uh, yeah, you have the Super Bowl in February, you got the Cup, you have the Stanley Cup and the NBA Finals in June, and then you have the World Series in October, and it may, and it can go into November. That's pretty much why it's so special. So I'm very excited for this Fall Classic, and I can't wait for it. My Again, my prediction, Rangers at 7. So that's my recap of the LCSs. They were crazy as hell. They really were. That's my recap of the league champ, this year's League Championship Series. Uh, if you like this video, click like. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe if you want more. If you're on... Uh, if you're on TikTok, feel free to click that follow button. My story is about Houston and Philly, the two teams who were in the World Series, who played each other in the World Series last year, who now eliminated. They'll be featured. Check them out. And I'll be back to, uh, I, I, I'll be back, uh, two, two things, I'll, actually three things. I'll be back, number one, to recap the end of the CFL season, because this is the last week. So recap week eight of the NFL season. And whenever the World Series is, I'll recap that to graduate the champion, whoever it is. So that's going to be a lot of time, but I'll be back to recap all of that. So stay tuned.